living, you know, through other people and still helping people, so. And their families, I mean, yeah, that's a big thing too. And I know we're all donors, and but we never talked about it with her. Um, we're both nurses, so we, we talk about it. But I don't ever remember talking about donation with her. So when the time came, it, like they said, it was, it was not a hard decision for us to say, donate whatever you can. Yeah. And honestly, I was just really surprised that we could donate everything we did with her because she was a type one diabetic for so long. And then it was good to read the letter from the foundation saying that <clears throat> all of the recipients that got the uh, organs had immediate affection, you know, when they was, yeah. so it was just meant to, it was meant to be, you know. That was a very good thing to read after waiting for a couple of months and wondering if her organs did work, if they didn't work, and then she got a letter and finally saying that a so-and-so, you know, however many year old male got this and it worked immediately, and then this other person, and it's just everything took so easy. That was definitely something good to hear after waiting. And I think that for it being such something people wish to not happen it has been a good process and it does give us something to do like all of us to come together and drive and we'll go out and all eat together so in a way that's still what Tom would let's all go eat here and so like this it's bringing us and she's still bringing us together yes